Hi, this is Marisol Medina, your instructor for Pro 109 at Bellevue College. In this short video, I'm going to explain how to add a new element using GDOM. So um, we can see on the left side how our original web page looks like, and on the right side, you can see what we are going to add. We are going to add a new input text and a button. So when the user clicks a new grocery item, that new item is going to be added to the list. So what you need in order to follow me through the video is um, access to your Bellevue College Canvas, description of your model number eight assignment, so you know in advance what we are going to do. You also need JSBIN, or you can follow me using your own editor, and of course you need access to the assignment source code. So let's start. So I already have my JSBIN here, and I also have my um, original web page from the book. So by using, by doing right click, we can get to the source code of the assignment. So I'm going to just copy and paste this to my JSBIN. And also I'm going to copy and paste my um, JavaScript source. So if I click on this, I can get the original JavaScript source. And I'm going to copy that into JavaScript. So the other part that I want to do is to actually use exactly the same style. So I need to grab the um, source code for the CSS. So I just need to grab the location of that CSS file and modify this relative link. So you don't need to copy in in paste that um, source code for the CSS, you can just reference to the original one. So now that we have these, the second thing that we need to do is to modify that script because we are not going to use that until the end. So we can just put this in comment because we don't need it. You will need it at the end once you save your JavaScript file. So as you can see, all those single items are a list. I'm going to do Control Shift L in JSBIN and it's going to organize my code so I can easily notice my different allies here. So what we actually want to do is to add a new input. Oops, input type equal text. And we're going to give it them an ID items. And we also are going to add a button with an ID button add element. Add element. Add new item. So most of the code has been already provided uh, for us. So the only thing that we need to do in here, rather than sending a hard code item, we need to capture it by reading this new item. So what we are going to do is create a new variable before the whole code, and we are going to say var new item. And we are going to read that value by using document, get element, by ID, the name of our work, element, which is items in value. Just by doing that, we can replace now this quinoa from here and use that new item. Now, the next part that we want to do, I'm going to use it um, using the old way. So this is not actually the recommended way, but we haven't get to the new way yet. And what we are going to do is to add the on click event. And with the on click event, we just need to call our new function. So I'm going to call the function add item. And all this code in here, I'm going to put it in a function. When I just create a new function here at the beginning, so this is function add item. And then I need to make sure that I close it at the end like this. And I'm going to run with JavaScript and I'm going to use rice add new item. And here we are beans, oops, beans. And that's it. The rest, you know how to do it. You just need to upload it into your awards space and submit your link.